As Americans, we ask a lot out of our family vehicles. But none exerts itself harder than the full-size, three-row SUV. These seven and eight-seat SUVs are tasked with shuttling family members to school, jobs, and sports practice during the week. On the weekend, these workhorses support our hobbies, from towing horses or boats on trailers to taking us down remote two tracks to our favorite hiking or hunting spots. While we play, they work even harder. Because of the honeydew lists we place upon these big family SUVs, manufacturers build them tough. They typically feature big V8 engines, four-wheel drive, and full-size pickup-based platforms. Given how many jobs we expect these SUVs to do, our testing will ask more of them, too. On top of the usual criteria, you know, driving, riding, and handling, plus the ability to comfortably swallow at least seven passengers in their cargo, all without breaking the bank, we're also going to ask our trucks to tow a trailer loaded with Honda Pioneer side-by-sides and complete a rough-and-tumble off-road obstacle course. Our invite criteria was pretty simple, three rows of seats inside, a minimum towing capacity of 7,000 pounds, four-wheel drive, and a $65,000 price cap, which, shockingly, is about the average transaction price for this segment. The SUV most synonymous with this segment is the Chevrolet Tahoe and its extended-length twin, the Suburban. The undisputed segment bestseller, the Tahoe, and the virtually identical GMC Yukon has been continually improved since the current generation made its debut three years ago. Our 2018 Chevrolet Tahoe 4 WDLT started its life as a mid-level model but is loaded with options, including the Z71 Midnight Edition package, which adds off-road tires, an off-road oriented suspension, a revised front bumper, black paint, and some decals. Our four-wheel drive Tahoe is powered by the standard 5.3-liter V8 paired with a six-speed automatic. It's tough living in the shadows, but Ford has done its best to ensure the new Ford 2018 Expedition gets its chance at the spotlight. Our 2018 Ford Expedition XLT 4x4, like all new Expeditions, is built with lessons learned developing the best-selling, truck of the year winning Ford F-150. Its sleek new sheet metal is made of aluminum, and under the hood it sports a 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6 paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission and optional all or four-wheel drive, our tester is equipped with the latter. Big full-size SUVs aren't just an American thing, Toyota has been playing in the segment since 2000 with the Sequoia. Although largely unchanged since it made its debut in 2008, Toyota gave it a handful of updates for the new year. Our 2018 Toyota Sequoia TRD Sport 4x4 is the newest trim level, and it, like the rest of the lineup, gets LED headlights and some infotainment updates this year. Despite the Sequoia's new nose, under the hood it soldiers on with a 5.7-liter V8 paired with a 6-speed auto and optional 4-wheel drive. Nissan has also been a player in the segment with the Armada. The second-gen Armada just arrived stateside in 2016, but it has been hiding in plain sight on American streets since 2010 as the Infiniti QX56, now called the QX80, and globally as the utilitarian Nissan Patrol off-roader. The US spec Armada is a hodgepodge of the two, sporting the latter's sheet metal and the former's interior and engine, a beastly 5.6-liter V8 mated to a 7-speed automatic. Our tester is a loaded 2018 Nissan Armada Platinum model equipped with optional four-wheel drive. And that brings us to our final contender. A big test needs to be just that, so to round out our field, we invited an SUV that artfully straddles the line between full-size crossover and full-size SUV. Our 2018 Dodge Durango 4RT is just slightly bigger than many mid-size crossovers and slightly smaller than these full-size SUVs. Its wheelbase is actually significantly longer than the Tahoe's, but it's about 2 inches shorter in overall length. The only SUV not built in the old-school body-on-frame fashion, our Durango tester features the optional 5.7-liter V8 sending power through an 8-speed automatic and a 4-wheel drive system borrowed from the Jeep Grand Cherokee. With two weeks of extensive testing to tackle, we kicked things off with our real-world evaluation loop, which includes city streets, highway speed stretches, twisty roads, and sections of asphalt so bad that the county is continually attempting to repave it. Basically, it's just about everything these SUVs would have to tackle in a given month in a tidy 21-mile stretch of coastal SoCal. 
The differences between the five SUVs were readily apparent from the get-go. The Chevrolet Tahoe feels every bit as truckish as the Silverado platform it rides on. Although the Tahoe isn't the only SUV here riding on a pickup platform, the Sequoia and Expedition ride on ladder frames based on those of the Tundra and the F-150, it's the only one to use a pickup's live rear axle, meaning both rear wheels share an axle, and thus any impact felt by one tire also affects the other. At least it swaps the pickup's leaf springs for better riding coils. The performance formula for SUVs in this class used to be pretty simple, big, lazy V8 paired with a 4 or 5 speed transmission. My how things have changed. The biggest departure from yesteryear can be found under the hood of the new Ford Expedition. Ford ditched its 5.4-liter V8 late in the previous generation Expedition's life in favor of its EcoBoost twin-turbo V6, and the Blue Oval doubled down on its commitment by pairing the newest version of the EcoBoost V6, now churning out 375 horsepower and 470 pounds to foot of torque, with a 10-speed automatic transmission. The benefits of the new power rain coupled with the weight savings of its aluminum body panels mean the Expedition was among the quickest in our test, accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 6.2 seconds and needing 14.8 seconds to get through the quarter mile at 91.7 miles per hour you'll never miss a V8 with this engine, it's responsive and has a big, meaty torque curve. The gearbox is great, too shifting almost imperceptibly in the background and always choosing the right gear. It's easy to dismiss fuel economy as irrelevant in this segment, but given that California gas prices are back above 3 bucks a gallon and with an average fuel tank size of 25.26 gallons in this group, frequent fill-ups will be expensive. Sorting by their EPA combined fuel economy scores, the Ford Expedition, with its 17 slash 22 19ths of a mile per gallon city slash highway slash combined rating, is the most efficient, followed closely by the Chevy Tahoe and Dodge Durango, with the Armada and Sequoia bringing up the rear. Never content with what the man tells us, our emissions analytics team hooked up their test gear to see how efficient our five SUVs really are, using our real MPG score. Turns out the feds were right, mostly. Second, fourth, and fifth don't change, but the Ford and Dodge swap spots. The Durango 16.025.119.1 real MPG score was the best in the test, and the turbocharged Expedition slipped to third with a 14.622.317.2 real MPG score.